Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. Hope you guys are good, doing well. So I've done a pre-shuffle already, so we can jump straight into this reading. So let's start off with uh, tapping into the thoughts and feelings of the person on your mind, or the person thinking about you. We have, I'm so attracted to you. So this is someone that is highly attracted to you. We have, I am afraid to contact you. So this is someone scared to contact you. We have, I left when I saw you with someone. So this is someone that left because they saw you with someone. We have, I know I messed up everything. So this is someone that sabotaged this connection with you and they know it. We have, I love you. So they are in love. This person's in love with you. We have, I wish I could take back my words. So whatever this person said to you or behind your back, they regret it. We have, I hid who I really am from you. So this is someone being deceptive. Yeah, not keeping it real. We have, we need to let each other go. Yeah. So this person knows it's time to... Uh, let this go here, or this is how you feel. And we have, we both know I'm not the one for you. Yeah, this person knows that they're not the one for you. This person is bad for you, and they know it. And you know it as well. So not only do you know it, they know it. Yeah, they know it's time to let each other go. They're not the one. They're not the one, yeah. They're hiding. This person's hiding a lot. They're hiding who they really are. Yeah. Hiding their feelings. This person loves you. They may, but they messed up. They messed up everything. Yeah, for some of you, you left when you saw this person with someone. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. This person's attract so attracted to you, but they know that they are not the one for you. During this time. So let's tap into uh, the energies surrounding this situation during this time. Let's get the messages here. We have deception. Yeah, someone's wearing a false self mask. That's more confirmation. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Right. So let's get the tarot. Tap into the energies. Tap into the energies here. As well. Do a free card spread. So we've got the um, Page of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. And we've got Ace of Cups in reverse. So that's clarified. King of Cups. We've got the Fool. This is Aries energy. We've got Five of Pentacles. So further clarified. The Eight of Pentacles. We've got Death, Scorpio energy. A Knight of Wands. Right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it looks like the energies during this time between you and this person looks like uh, you guys are letting this go. We've got death here. We've got the fool, new beginnings. Death, yeah. Out with the old, in with the new. You guys are letting this go. Ace of Cups in reverse. This is why we have, uh, we need to let each other go. Yeah. Separation. So there is separation here. I feel for, for some of you, you're freeing yourself from uh, this situation here with this person here. It looks like this is why we have, um, it's time to let each other go. I'm hearing Usher, let it burn. That song by Asha Raymond, let it go, let it burn, yeah. 
some of you feel like it's time to let this situation burn let it burn this person could be feeling like that you know i mean even though there's love in this situation but i feel like it's a toxic situation it's an unhealthy situation here and you guys i feel like for some of you dealing with this person it just ends up hurting you you know i feel like this person they know that they will hurt you because they know they're not the one this is why this message came out we both know i am not the one for you during this time this person knows they're not the one for you during this time yeah this person knows that they will end up hurting you so they feel like it's better to let you go than to uh hold on to you and hurt you because i feel like it looks to me that this person's going through like financial um struggles here. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person has a lot going on during this time. And uh their, their financial uh security here, they have a lack of financial security or stability. So I feel that knocks their confidence. That knocks their confidence. Yeah, this person, I feel like uh, they're getting their feelings over you because they watch you a lot. I see, I see this page of swords, this person is spying on you here. You know, you could be in your queen of pentacles energy during this time where you're focused on your finances and career, your home, family, stability. And this person's watching you. Page of swords. They are spying on you heavily here. <laughs> I feel like they're getting their feelings. King of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, we've got Knight of Wands in reverse. This is someone that gets really jealous over you. I feel like they watch you and they're getting their feelings. For some of you, I feel like this is why we had this message here. They saw you with someone, they're spying on you. I feel like this is someone that may have saw you with someone. They 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 feel like you're seeing someone else. Because we have, I left when I saw you with someone. So this person's spying on you and they saw you with someone. And they got in their feelings. Yeah. They got in their feelings here. This person gets so jealous over you. I feel like for some of you, it could have been a friend or someone. It could be as simple thing as that. But it just triggered this person. I feel like this person is so insecure. They 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 put a lot on you, I feel like, because it's like you can't do nothing without this person getting in their feelings. I mean, this is someone anything you do gets this person triggers this person. Even just being with your friends, this person gets jealous. I don't know if, uh, you know, they've, they're stalking your social media. I feel like for some of you, and uh, maybe you post pictures or videos when you're out with friends or whatever, you're out and about. This person gets jealous that you live your life. You could just be spending time with your family and friends and they're getting their feelings. It's, it's any little thing that would trigger this person here. Because they have so much insecurities when it comes to you, you know. They get so jealous over you, I feel. And I feel like um, with this page of swords in reverse, there's gossip here. I feel like there's gossip about you. This person, they hear, they hear or they engage in gossip about you. There's gossip and rumours here. I feel like there's rumours that you're seeing someone else. Because this person's in their feelings during this time. And I feel like for some of you, this is why this person has chosen to like not put in the work here in this connection with you. That's why Ace of Cups is in reverse. I feel like they are choosing to let this go. Let the situation go with you because... Uh, yeah, I can see here... This person is uh, playing games, hey, I feel like. This is why they're choosing to let this go with you, because they feel like you're seeing someone else anyway, for some of you. 
or this is what they're hearing there's gossip yeah it leads me to this we've got let your friends help you so i feel like there's gossip here i feel like their friends watch you as well their friends watch you as well and i feel like they got jealous friends and they gossip they gossip about you there's gossip here but it's malicious gossip you know i feel like their friends is jealous they got fake jealous friends that chat shit you know probably don't want this person to be with you so they're telling this person all kind of shit because you could be posting like simple pictures or videos you know maybe their friends follow you on social media whatever it is and it's like what they see they twist it you know they speculate and fabricate fabricate the truth you know to make you look bad here trying to discredit you there's yeah these people are chatting shit about you their friends chat shit about you here because there's gossip here malicious gossip and rumors this person's in their feelings they're jealous over something here it's like they saw something or their friends saw something here that makes them feel like you're with someone so they left they, I feel like this is why they're not putting in the work in this connection with you. They're choosing to uh, reject this uh, idea of being with you, it looks like. They're choosing to let it burn. They're choosing to let it burn. Because I can see, yeah, there, there's a lack of effort, a lack of commitment here to this situation with you. See, this is why we've got death. This is this situation's over. I feel like you're both letting this situation burn. It looks like, yeah. This is why we have. We need to let each other go. Yeah, this person needs to let go, and you need to let go. You both, you both can feel it. You both need to let this situation burn because I feel like this person gets in their feelings over you. They get hurt over you, you know, through listening to other people. And holding back their feelings, you know, because there's a poor, there's lack of communication here. And, uh, you know, this person ends up, turns, ends up hurting you because they're hurt. This is someone that plays a lot of mind games, you know. They play a lot of mind games and manipulation. Very controlling. Someone is very controlling. Yeah. <clears throat> and the fact that you guys have poor communication... Or lack of communication. You probably don't even talk to this person at all. For some of you. Because I can see here. This is someone that's scared to contact you. Because we have. I am afraid to contact you. So because you guys don't talk. There's no communication between you guys. This person just gets in their feelings. Here. They listen to other people. They listen to other people. And uh, getting their feelings here and they get the wrong idea. They get the wrong idea about you. Yeah, they get the wrong impression about you here, I feel. So this is what's sabotaging this connection between you and this person, it looks like. Poor communication. This person doesn't want to reach out. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want, they're afraid. Maybe they're scared of rejection here. Whatever it is. But they're holding back. They are holding back. And just and uh, I feel like during this time, they are choosing to really let this situation with you go. I feel like they are rejecting the idea of being with you during this time because I feel like they don't even have the confidence, you know, to be with someone like you because of their financial circumstances right now. <laughs> And also, this person, they lack emotional maturity anyway. They ha they lack maturity, emotional and mental, you know, maturity to be with someone like you. I mean, Queen of Pentacles, you're a queen out here. You have standards, self-respect. You know, this is someone, they're not really, they're not, they're really unstable. This is someone, they know they, they're not able to give you the stability that you deserve or the love that you deserve here because they're unstable themselves they're emotionally unstable this person's all over the place knight of wands as well they're in this knight of wands energy very flighty energy in and out 
you know, non-committal. Just want to be out here having fun. Yeah. There, this is someone that's really unstable. So uh, I feel like, you know, God has stepped in here. Your spirit guides, ancestors, you have protection here in this situation. You've been, this rejection is actually your protection. Because uh, this person here, this is some, you're dealing with someone that is uh, not on your level, emotionally or spiritually, mentally. They're not on your level. And they're not ready to be with someone like you. It would have just been a disaster anyway, because they're not ready. This person has a lot of secure, um, insecurities here and sex addictions. This is someone that's unable to be, you know, faithful or loyal. They're, they're, they're not capable of being honest, you know. They're not capable of being, you know, loyal or faithful. They're a liar and a cheat. Deception. They wear a false self mask. Yeah, it's time to free yourself. This is why we have free yourself. Yeah, it's unrequited love. It's unrequited because this person is incapable of giving you the love that you deserve here. I mean, I feel like dealing with this person is like being on an emotional roller coaster. It's just a lot of ups and downs. It just doesn't go anywhere. Just round and round, you know. So at this point, I feel like a lot of you focus on a new beginning here. We've got the fool here, new beginnings, you know. I feel like you're closing out this chapter here with this person. Yeah, it's over. I feel like you're calling it a day. It looks like you're calling it a day. It's a new beginning here. This person's too insecure for you. Yeah, I'm hearing Mariah Carey, um, shake it off. <laughs> I gotta shake it off. The loving ain't the same. Keep on playing games like you know I'm here to stay. Yeah, you're shaking this off. You're shaking off the situation. You're getting out of here. Yeah, go somewhere where you'll be more appreciated, where your love will be more appreciated. This person doesn't appreciate your love. I feel like... They just take your love for granted here. I feel like because they're so insecure and they're getting their feelings, they're so jealous of you and stuff. Um, it's like nothing you can do, nothing you do is ever good enough for this person. It's like you do all that you can for this person and they still want more. It's like it's just not enough. They still want more and it's like they don't do, they don't, Make the effort themselves, but they want you to do all the work. This is someone that wants you to do all the work while they just sit back and don't invest anything in, in you, in the situation with you. You know, this person, they don't, they're scared to hunt. They, they let their insecurities and their fears hold them back from, you know, making things right with you in this situation here. I'm afraid to contact you. You know, they, they they let their fears and insecurities, you know, get the better of them. You know, but then they play they play around with your feelings here to make you feel like they don't want you, when really they do. This person is in love with you. Yeah, and they are so attracted to you. This is someone that cannot stop spying on you, watching you, talking about you. They, all they do is talk about you, their friends. All they do is watch you, talk about you, gossip about you, you know. But they don't want to let you know that. This person is, is running away from love, running away from love. Yeah, because they're hiding a lot. They, this person, they hide a lot from you. Let's pull some more cards here. See what else Spirit wants us to know before we close out this reading here. Okay, yeah. 
I was punishing you for hurting me. This, this is what I'm saying. They play games. This is someone that's very manipulative, controlling, you know, narcissist, really. So this person, they're getting their feelings over you, yeah? So then, because they get hurt over petty little things, they play these games here with you to make you feel like, to get you hurt, to make you get in your feelings. So they just dump a lot of their emotional baggage on you. For no reason. <laughs> For no reason. Just because they love you and they just don't know how to, to deal with it on a, on a, in a mature way. They don't know how to deal with their love for you in a mature way, you know. So they they um they 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 they're very manipulative, gang stalking. Wow, yeah, this is what I picked up. They got their friends watching you. They got their friends, family members watching you here, gang stalking. Yeah, they are stalking the hell out of you. They're all of their friends is watching you, talking about you, chatting shit about you. Yeah. This is what it is, childish. We've got Karmic does black magic. So they are with someone. For some of you, this person could even be married. Or they, you know, they're committed to someone here. They're with someone that does black magic on them. You know, I feel like they're with someone that's, that's, that manipulates them too. Using manipulation spells on this person. Probably sex spells or, you know, emotional manipulation or yeah i feel like they're with someone that manipulates them too yeah this is what it is this is why whoever they're with keeps them this karmic keeps this person in a low vibration you know this is why they they're so insecure we have stds this person has stds yeah because they're in this knight of wands energy this is what i'm saying very um promiscuous energy someone that sleeps around one night stands you know someone that has a lot of temptations a lot of sexual partners same sex partners yeah because we've got bisexual they're on the dl this person's on the down low this person's on the down low and this is why they know they're not the one for you during this time yeah, I think of you when have sex with others. So this person thinks when they're having sex with others, you know, men or women, they're thinking of you. <laughs> this person's crazy. We have uh, either you do right or you leave me the fuck alone. So, yeah, this is how you feel. You are letting this person know you want them to leave you alone, you know, because then they're not able to do right. So, yeah, it's either you do right or leave me alone. I feel like this person knows they're, they're unable to do right by you. So, uh, I feel like it is a case where you're both going to let this burn. Let this situation burn. Usher Raymond. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Because they're not the one for you right now. Right now, they are rejecting the idea of being with you. They're rejecting their love for you during this time, you know, so that they can, um, and choosing to be out here hoeing around, you know, sleeping around with all these different kind of people here, having one night stands, hotel rooms. This is what they're rejecting you for, to live that kind of un unhealthy lifestyle. This is what this is what they're rejecting you for to live an unhealthy lifestyle. But they have STDs, you know. They, you know they don't use protection, catching and spreading STDs out here. Playing these mind games, playing these mind games, being childish, yeah, and chatting shit about you. And spying and chatting shit about you. I mean, this is someone that is so immature. Yeah, this is why. But I feel like, yeah, they wish they could take back their words. Because, uh, you know, this person, they feel foolish at the end of the day. They feel foolish. So, yeah, it's best to free yourself from this situation. Free yourself. Yeah.
on to bigger and better things. So I hope this reading helps you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.